Hello, my name is Danny Gregory, and today I'm going to demonstrate a new user control I wrote to handle numeric data types. This type of control is typically referred to as a numeric up or down control or NUD control. However, I tried to make the control a bit more feature rich than the standard NUD control. So let's take a look at some of the features. We've got buttons for incrementing and decrementing. You can specify the values for your increment and decrement. Also, you can specify minimum and maximum values, and there's buttons that will take you to the minimum and maximum values. You can specify styles and images for your buttons and you can position those buttons either along the left of the control, the right of the control, or you can flank your control with the buttons. In addition to the buttons, you can also manually change the numeric value, and the control has full support for data binding. You can use your keyboard shortcuts, so the up arrow key will increment, down arrow key will decrement, home key will take you to the minimum value, end key will take you to the last or maximum value. You can use $FN format and scale for the display of your values. You can also use value lists and display lists. And you can align your text either to the left or to the right or even center it. So let's take a look at some of the features. We've got the minimum and maximum values set to minus 300 and 300. I'm going to go ahead and just change this here. And you can see that it reflects up here. And if I try to go to the maximum, you're going to see that my button grays out, my increment button grays out. If I go to the minimum value, my decrement button grays out. It, here what we're going to look at is how we can change the increment and decrement values. Here we've got 0.25. I'm going to change this to 0.5 for both of these. If I go ahead and I decrement, you're going to see it took off 0.5. If I increment, it went ahead and added 0.5 to that. You're allowed to show or hide your buttons. So here you can see we've got the decrement and increment buttons shown. I can go ahead and hide those or show them. Likewise, I'm going to go ahead and show my minimum and my maximum buttons. And as you can see, that took me to the maximum, that took me to the minimum. And I can position my buttons along the left, the right, or I can flank the control with them. You have the ability to use the keyboard shortcut. So here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to decrement the value. Here I'm going to go ahead and hit the up arrow to increment the value. Here I'm going to hit the home key to go to the minimum value, which was minus 1,000, and the end key to take me to the maximum value, which was 1,000. You can align your text either to the left, the right, or center of the control, and you can change the size of the control itself. The control allows you to use $FN format and scale. So here you can see L plus. I can change this to whatever I want. I can also change my scale. There you can see it's a 2, there it's a 1. I can also do stuff outside of $FN. So here I'm going to add a prefix of a dollar sign. That's great for amounts. Or if I was dealing with percentages, I could add a percent onto the end. The control allows you to use value lists and display lists. So here you can see I'm using a caret as my delimiter. I've got my value list set up here with a minimum of 30,000, max of 80,000 in that list. Here's the respective display list. So you can see up here that it reflects that minimum and maximum, allows me to jump to those just like if it were a normal one without the value list and display list. I'm able to increment and decrement through those values. Next, what we're going to look at is how you can provide custom images for your buttons. And you can also provide styling for these to make the images look better. Here, what we're going to look at is the ability to data bind. So I've got two controls, two NUD controls, actually three. I'm actually using it on the ID field, too. But what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and change these values a little bit. We'll come in here to the salary, and we'll change this here to, um, let's actually go back here to the first one. We'll change this here to, let's say, 32,000. We'll change this uh, favorite number to 6. We'll go ahead and save that. If I go ahead off of this and I come back, you're going to see that it saved those values. Well, that's it for today's presentation. I want to thank you very much. If you do have additional co comments, questions, feature requests, please contact me at danielgregory at acm.org. Once again, thank you and have a great day.